Good evening, folks. It's Thursday. You weren't expecting to see me, were you? What's up, guys? It's your girl, Vanessa Maddox, live from the minivan. People, you know I have the new minivan. You haven't quite seen it yet, but it's so cool. Her name is Nessie Jr., and Nessie Jr. is white with black BBS rims. You all that like tires, you know what those are. I haven't seen BBS rims in 20 years, but there they are on Nessie Jr. Okay, people, listen. Today, I'm with one of the wonderful candidates. Her name is Mavis Tainer, and she has been waiting so patiently to be in the minivan, and the day has finally arrived. All right, so we're about to meet Miss Mavis, and here you go. Okay, Mavis, I'm going to try to switch the camera because, yeah, you know, yeah, I get kind of, you know yeah. how it goes sometimes. And there yeah, she is. Hi. Say hello to the minivanners. Hi, minivanners. Here I am at last. <laughs> <laughs> at last. So, Mavis, yes. running for office yes. again. Yes. All right. Yes. Tell the minivanners what you're running for and what your campaign is all about. I am running for the House of Delegates in Virginia, Northern Virginia, 33rd District, that goes sort of from Leesburg over the mountains, over the river, into Clark and Frederick counties. And that is what the district is. And what my campaign is all about is bringing openness to the political process in the 33rd district. I am the candidate who's everywhere all the time. We're having, we have 28 precincts in our district. Mm -hmm. We are having a town hall in every single precinct. We've now had about 10 of them. So we'll be through them by, I don't know, early July. Mm -hmm. And I promise that I'm going to have a district office when I'm elected because our incumbent now does not have an office. And I think it's very important to be open and available to your voters all the time, whenever, whenever they want to see you. Absolutely. Mavis, tell the minivanners, what was your motivation for running the very first time and what is your motivation now? Well, I think it's the same. I don't want to start on a down note here, but mm -hmm. um, what really got me off the farm and out wanting to be involved in politics was I had a son who had a, an addiction problem and died of a heroin overdose. And I could have sat in my living room and felt sorry for myself. And I thought, this is ridiculous. We really need to do something about this crisis. And it's really hitting Virginia hard, as I'm sure everyone who's listening knows we have one of the highest number of folks who die of um, overdoses, heroin overdoses in the country. And it's, you know, it's bad and really bad in the rural areas. So there's a lot of work to be done. And I want to be the person who really galvanizes interest in getting a solution to this problem. There are many solutions available and we just haven't tried any of them here in Virginia. Awesome, awesome. So if you could tell the mini banners three quick things that you would like to accomplish when you're elected, because you're going to get elected, Mavis. Yes, that's right. That's we have plan. claimed that. So tell us quickly three things that you want to get accomplished. I want to get teacher salaries way up. Mm -hmm. I want to get broadband throughout the 33rd district. And I want the health care we have in Virginia to work better for all families. Awesome. Awesome. Wonderful. Do you have any parting words for our audience, Mavis? Well, remember to get out and vote and get involved in whatever elections you have in your areas. There are wonderful candidates running all over Virginia. So look and see who's running in your area and, and get involved. Absolutely, absolutely. And what day is Election Day, Mavis? Ah, it's November 5th this year. November 5th, people. Write it down. Write it on your forehead. Write it on your mirror. Write it on your rearview mirror in your car. Write it on the back of your hand. I want to see everyone get yes. involved in this process. Yes. Right, Mavis? Yes. All Let's right. Let's do that. Okay, Mavis. In the tradition of live from the minivan, I like to uh, bid my guests adieu with 
three rapid fire questions. I just make them up as I go along, Mavis. Don't worry about okay. it. Don't be I'm scared. Here okay. we go. Question one, Mavis. Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. What? Really? Yes. That's awesome. Tell me why. Oh, I don't know. I just think it's great. So that's always, <laughs> that's one of my heroes. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Okay. Number two, Elvis or Elvis Costello? I would just have to go with the real thing, Elvis. The real thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us why. Oh, I think his music is wonderful. I just love it. Um, he was amazingly it's way before my time but uh, uh -huh. I just think it is great great music and of course it was one of the forerunners of rock the music I was brought up on you know, right so rock absolutely who's your favorite rock band of all time oh I guess it has to be something like the Beatles something very uh, traditional Oh, Ma Let's say Mavis the Beatles. Let's you, say the Beatles. Mavis I you just messed up my last question right. Mavis Beatles or Rolling Stones <laughs> I do love the Rolling Stones, but I think the Beatles are number one. Uh, Mick had heart surgery recently. Did, Did you oh, hear no, that? No, I didn't. Yeah, Mick had some kind of major surgery, so I got to go, you know, Google that and see how he's doing. He had a tough life. I'm yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's done drugs, it all, hasn't he? A lot he? of drugs and rock and roll. That's yeah. right, that's right. Okay, Minnie Vanners, this has been the wonderful Mavis Tainer. She's running for office. Get out there, Google her, give her a donation. People, take it from me. It's a hard knock life when you're out here knocking doors and trying to get the world yeah. word out and you're campaigning. And right before we go, Mavis, we have some people on. Say hello to Chizzy, Hi, Chizzy. and to Joseph. Joseph. And to Miss Winter Harris. Miss Winter Harris, hi. Everybody. Great. Mavis, thank you so much for being in the minivan. We want to have you back right before the election so you can tell us how it's going. And we will definitely keep up with you. Great. Thanks so much, Vanessa. Thank you. All right, people, I got to run because, you know, I just literally got home from work. And I have two six-footers in the house. And... For the life of me, I can't figure out why they're expecting food. You know what I'm saying, people? All right. Love you guys. See you again soon.